Hello everyone and welcome back to DCS World where as you can see I am going to fly the MiG-21 This is just going to be a startup takeoff and landing video and hopefully I won't crash but I have tried flying the MiG-21 during a live stream and I have to say I have not gotten the hang of it <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit heavy on the landing bit it's a bit hard to land with it safely at least as far as I have experienced so we will see this is somewhat of a response to my uh, recent Ace Combat 7 video where I flew uh, MiG-21 in a fairly arcadey sort of way and so this is by way of penance or maybe a reality check I guess uh, with uh, this rendition of the plane which as you can see looks very good and uh, very good indeed and yeah uh, very pleased with this one and let's get into the cockpit so as far as the startup procedure, uh, it's somewhat complicated by the fact that the switches are all uh, in Russian. Uh, but fortunately, if you hover over them, you can, well, assuming they're ones that you can actually click, uh, you can tell what they are. And I have the checklist in front of me. Uh, so I know this one, this one, the inverters, and then the battery heat is what we start off with. And then uh, battery ground power on. I'm going to need to zoom in. Uh, let's see, where was that? Ah, this is battery on and DC generator on. Okay, and then we have to get the fire extinguisher on. And that's that one, I believe. Yep. Okay, and then we ask them for ground power. Chief, turn off the ground. Not off. I need on. Press the wrong button. They got me so confused. Maybe I can just tell them now. On. Uh, is this not a place with ground power? I think I've selected an airport which doesn't have ground power. I hate when this happens. Can I go through the rest of the startup procedure and will it work without ground power? I wonder. Let me just go through it. Always oh, good to practice anyway. So on the right panel, I would flick this one, which is the flight data recorder, and this one, which is the radio system. Okay, and then I would select radio channel, but I don't have to do that. And then the fuel pumps. Well. Something's happening. Uh, engine APU on. Well, that would not work without the ground power, I would assume. But anyway, that's what that is. And then the engine lock. Uh, throttle lock, which is right here. Okay, it is unlocked. You can move the throttle. And then we have to start, basically start the engine. Hold that for a few seconds. Two, three, four. Well, I hear some sound. Uh, maybe there was ground power after all. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't report back to me that there was ground power. Okay. So that's warming up. And then right panel. We have more switches. Uh, was it down here? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think it's this one which is other systems which I don't care about right now but I'll turn them on and then uh, this one I think yep what was that AC generator yeah AC generator might be helpful assuming it works okay then all of these which is all the instruments radio altimeter and whatever that is whatever NPP is and SAU and more SAU. I think that's stability. Okay, and then these guys. So that's the nose nose cone, right? Because it goes in and out. Emergency hydraulic pump. And also the trimmer. Okay, well hopefully that's all working right. Now, over here, we have this button. Flaps to take off. The flaps are a button. 
And then on the front panel, we have this button. And that's whatever NPP is. Uh, it looks like that dial, maybe? Okay, and then we can close the canopy. Alright, canopy is closed. We have to lock the canopy. And apparently that's this lever. I hope that's the lock. Well, there's a little light there. It's just red first, and then when I do that, it's blinking. And then this is the her hermitize. And, okay, I think it's all nice and sealed, and that's why it's not blinking. So that's good. That is our indicator that everything is all right. And that should be it. So if there was ground power on, we would call the ground power and turn it off now. Maybe there was ground power on. Um, we seem to have a working engine judging from the RPM. So everything is A-OK. -okay. So yeah, well, this is what the cockpit's supposed to look like. And I've seen a few versions, but this is certainly definitive. Okay, outside view. Got our takeoff flaps. Fairly plain livery on this one. I didn't pick the livery. I did, did decide I would be Swedish, and I guess this is a captured MiG in that case, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, we won't be facing any enemies, and that's because this is just a training flight. Let's begin the taxi. Oh god. Uh, oh no, I got stuck on the train. Push up, push up, push up. Okay. <laughs> it's just crazy sometimes. Okay, we're on the runway. That's somebody else. Looking good though. I get one of those. All right. First few times I tried to take off in this, it wouldn't lift off the ground. I'm not entirely sure why still, but eventually I had some success. Uh, you should rotate now. Oh, I'm worried. I think it's doing the same thing it did before. No, oh, that's not good. I blew a tire. Yeah, I'm pulling up all the way and it won't go up. Ooh. Hmm. Definitely going fast enough. Hi again. Right. So, I don't know why pulling up at that point, definitely going fast enough, why that was not good enough. You know what, let me, instead of doing the whole startup procedure, have it started up for me and see if maybe that makes a difference. No, here I was able to, well, I can rotate, which means I can take off. Ooh, not the smoothest takeoff ever, but still. Yep, definitely something wrong with how I started it up. Okay, you can go up now. Okay, so... Hey, Draken International. Nice. Ah, to unlock it first and remember which button was unlock. Okay. So, that is good. Uh, let's get the flaps up. As you can see, it's the Dubai map. I think this is the first video in which I am featuring the Dubai, ma Dubai map. I like this livery. I haven't seen this livery. They always surprise me with the liveries. I don't pick them and it's always something new and it's usually good or interesting. I was interested by the tone of the buildings. They all seem so blue. I've got Dubai scenery in X-Plane 11 and the color palette there seems to be a little bit more varied than it seems here. 
Everything is very blue and olive greenish here. This doesn't like to stay inverted because staying inverted entails negative G's and it doesn't like that at all. I've killed the engine a few times by pulling negative G's with it. But we can pull positive G's, that's fine. Okay, let's see about the landing business. Uh, I think I see the runway up ahead. Okay, should be good for flaps. And let me see if I can bring out the landing gear. Okay, that's not locked. Good. And shuttering. See, it needs a lot of thrust. Uh, they said in the tutorial not to go below three, uh, 340 kilometers per hour. I'm at 340 kilometers per hour with 100% RPM. <laughs> Uh, if I was going up a little bit. Okay. It shudders just like the F-14 does. Oh, that's the runway over there. I'm looking at a taxiway. Gosh darn it. Well, that's already sort of messed up. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, well, no. Oh, no. I'm going to end up in a fireball, aren't I? <laughs> oh. Oh, ow. No, please. Okay, how bad is it? <laughs> it's a fireball. Yeah, well, I didn't line up with the runway properly before. Okay, no sightseeing this time. The black nose cone and the shiny front end are a good combination. Mm, it's sort of falling like a brick kind of thing right now. Yes, I used afterburner. I was desperate. Ah, oh, I did it again. Well, I mean, I guess it's just a sink rate. Ooh, that was, that was even better. Let me take a step back and let's just go over what they actually tell us in the landing tutorial. Okay, so here we go. May need to slow down time if you feel need. No, we better just uh, keep it going. Uh, so maintain 70% RPM, 10 meters per second. Well, I've allowed it to drop below 400. Make sure both the gear and flaps are down. Okay, flaps, please. I should just look at the indicators in here, but I haven't gotten used to their location yet. Okay, not more than 10 meters per second, he said. I should just set my eye point to be higher. I'm, I'm a pretty tall person. I'm not used to be being, being this low, I think. Messes with my mind. I'd have to set that earlier, though. I don't have enough hands. To manipulate that. No, we're off to the side too. We're just doing swell. Okay. Is is my descent rate still gonna be like ten meters per second or five or oh there's a drag chute. See they should have told me that earlier. P though. 
Oh, okay, drag shoot. Oh, I've done bad things again. Okay, uh, what's wrong if you're damaged? Call a ground crew. Oh, we're not, we're not on fire this time. That's an improvement. Okay, and this seems like a good eye point. And I've got the, except for the compass, so I need to tilt down for. Everything else seems to be fine. This is too close, maybe. Uh, I always uh, roll a lot, and that's probably the problem, probably. Oh, wait. Parachute? Wheel brakes? Oh god, was that a landing? We did use the drogue shoot. Drag shoot. Okay. Um. How do I get rid of the shoot? <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, you know what? I I absolutely need to know whether I can take off with that. Here we go. Uh, we'll we'll. Uh, I get the feeling that'll be more interesting to see this in the exterior view. And I'll punch the afterburner, of course. Oh, 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 it doesn't like doing this. Oh, it went off. Okay, so it just goes off. Okay, so was that a fluke? Or have I finally figured out how to land with this? Must be that when I tried to start the plane before, I missed somehow activating the controls so the controls didn't operate something like that I don't know what Draken International is but since I'm Swiss it's nearly topical well this feels a little bit better managed so far Okay. Uh, no, no, I didn't do it very well. I used a drug shoot though. Uh, oh. This is not good. Maybe I can stay on the runway though. <laughs> Something, something got messed up. But am I on fire? That's the question. I am not, well I'm making sparks but I'm not on fire. The main landing gear collapsed, basically. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to review the video. While you're in the middle of it, it's tough sometimes to see what's going on. So, I'll get to see it during editing. Probably to my dismay. Anyway, uh, well, with this sad state of affairs, I don't know if the parachute actually came out at all or not. I need to figure out what the difference between my previous attempt and this attempt was. So see where I'm going wrong. But anyway, much more practice is needed with this thing, I feel. So, well, anyway, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.